Yo to the yo to the yo yo yo. Got a 2015 Polaris Razor 900. Uh, battery's not charging when it's running. So first thing to do, start up the unit and set your voltmeter to DC volts. And we're gonna check to see uh, what the battery's reading when it's running. And you should be getting probably like 14 volts. So I popped this thing out and we can start it up here. Just put this quick across the battery. See that? Yep. So we're not getting a charge. So two things are causing that. The stator or regulator. So we are gonna check the regulator. Let's see. Right here, take your voltmeter, check it on the diode beeper, put a check DC volts, the red lead goes to the negative on your battery. Your uh, black lead, you'll probe each three of these. And what you should read is half a volt. Half a volt on one, half a volt on the other, half a volt on the other. So we know the regulator is good. So the regulator is good. So for the stator check, there's one, two, three terminals. You're gonna wanna take your uh, voltmeter, put it to AC volts. Take your two leads and you're gonna probe you're gonna probe uh, between one and two, one and three, and two and three while it's running. And you should have 20 volts, you know, at idle. And then when you're revving it up, you should go anywhere up to 60 or 70 volts. Um, but anywhere in here, if you're getting less than 20 volts, um, the stator's likely bad. So we'll fire it up quick. So, likely here we have a bad stator, or in this case, as you can see in the picture, charred and broken wires. And what does that all involve? It involves taking this cover off here and pulling out the stator. Looks like we have a sensor here on the top of the motor, a bracket, other than that should not be too bad so we'll go ahead and start taking that cover off so life is like a box of chocolates I got this cover pulled off a couple bolts for that bracket for the shifter for that sensor pull all the bolts out pulled this thing off well I was surprised to see the wire just come apart like this so this looks like it's burned like it got hot, something. And so I was wondering where, well, where is that extra wire? So if you go 
in between the seats. Take this panel off where your oil checker is, your oil filter is. You'll see down there, there's the stator plug. And if we grab the end of that wire, right here, you'll see what we had. Crispy charred wire, completely burned. So we can unplug this bad boy. And we can grab our new replacement stator. You know, I'm not sure if you could cut back those wires and solder them and everything would be good. Maybe. But for less than 50 bucks, I think you get a used stator. And yeah, pop out these two screws, pop out these three screws, and put the replacement stator in. Here we have our replacement stator. Well, that's cool. We have our replacement stator. It gives us about 40 bucks shipped to my front door. Swap out the old stuff with this used stuff. And we'll check if it works. Okay, so here's the new stator. Here's the old one. These were uh, like, I don't know, five millimeter. On the head not the bolt i think these little guys are like four for this little plate i scraped all the old gasket material off i can pull that one off and set it there we can take our replacement whoopsies I better wipe this guy off. I'm gonna clean this off some. All right, take your placement. It plops on about right like this. See where the old bolt holes line up. Get your rubber, rubber grommet in there. And we'll put that plate back on and put the screws back into the stator. All right, turn my handy dandy light on. Scraped all the ga old gasket off, got the new stator on, tighten it down so it's tight enough. Got the new paper gasket on here. So we'll slap her together. There you have it. I'll put back together. Now you can plug it in. Through this little peephole plug it in there okay got her plugged in right there might as well check the oil since you're here oh yeah she's plenty good plenty plenty good slap this cover back on here good enough there you go parts out of there all right well uh two things well just plug it in and see if it works okay so set your meter to volts dc volts we should check the battery output here as it's running hope to see man i hope to see 14 that'd really be cool deal so that takes care of that well there you have it another job done Bro.